Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Monday morning mountain weather update. All right, lots to talk about, but my first stop is going to be radar out of Colorado where we've seen and we are seeing heavy snow over the Front Range High Peaks and the Continental Divide. This cutoff low will exit the state this afternoon, but right now it is swiping the I-70 corridor, Loveland, A Basin, Winter Park, Keystone, all the way up to Rocky Mountain National and Cameron Pass with at times heavy snowfall, even a thunderstorm over Denver early this morning. So we've got some lift in the atmosphere with this uh, area of low pressure. Let me just show you what it looks like. Very impressive out of Loveland, probably six to 10 inches, something like that of accumulation up there. So we're definitely maximizing this, this last piece of the storm system. You can see at the base area, this is, this is good for them. They want the cold air. They want the natural snow. They, they're continuing to blow snow there at Loveland. Um, a Basin also looking good just up the way over the pass and probably 5 to 10, somewhere in that range, I'm guessing, up at uh, A Basin. Look at the view up at uh, the base area. I mean, it looks beautiful with the new snow up there at A Basin. Now, the big news is out of Wolf Creek, um, they picked up two feet of snow out of this storm cycle, and they are going to open tomorrow on the 22nd. They will be the first Colorado ski area to open, and I think the first in the lower 48 to open. So again, that happens tomorrow. Lots of natural snow down there. Let me give you the lay of the land as to where we are and where we're headed. So oranges and reds are drier air aloft. Your moisture is gonna be in your whites and your blues. And there's our cutoff low in Colorado. That'll be exiting this afternoon. Then the flow will continue to favor the Pacific Northwest and BC. There is a sneaky low that kind of gets thrown out um, that'll cruise through Idaho, northern Utah, Wyoming, Montana, clipping northern Colorado on Thursday of this week with a quick shot of snow for some places, but a lot of wind overall. That'll be a clipper. And then the main pattern and the main low back here will wait until after 1027. 1028, 29, 30, Halloween, first week of November looks active for the Intermountain West. So something to look forward to right there. Let me kick into my uh, bullet points this morning. So Colorado, you've got that four to eight inches this morning. It looks like we're at the top end of that, at least at Loveland and A Basin for the central and northern mount, C plus N. Then the pattern's gonna shift to favor BC in the Pacific Northwest, with one caveat being that windy clipper for Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado coming through on 1024. And some places will get some snow with that. Specific, probably the Tetons are gonna get the most out of that, Wind River. Um, and then the main storm uh, pattern's gonna shift for the Intermountain after 1027. So we'll look at all that in this forecast update. Here's your time height forecast for humidity in the atmosphere. All vertical layers. This is for Loveland, Loveland Pass. Um, and so humidity is in green. You can read the timeline on the bottom from right to left. You can see the humidity is there. We've got it this morning through about middle, the middle part of today. And then it starts to dry out. The atmosphere dries out significantly um, tonight and for the rest of the week in Colorado. We really have to wait until probably Thursday to see that windy front comes through. But after this, the atmosphere dries out for at least a few days. And up in Jackson, Wyoming, here's the 15 day snow forecast from the ensembles. And you can see the snow starts, the probabilities and the chances all start to accelerate up after about 1027. So that's when the best snow probability, the best snow comes in is with that pattern shift after 1027, but you're probably gonna get some with wind this Thursday as well. Um, now, talking about and speaking about that wind. So on Thursday in Colorado, just to give you some example of what I'm talking about, 50 to 70 mile an hour wind gusts. And this will probably be the case briefly in Utah, northern Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, southern Montana, Colorado. We're probably going to have this surge of wind come through on Thursday. Anywhere in tan color over the continental divide is, is 50 plus. And you can see it. Longs, all the 14ers, they're all going to get uh, blasted by wind on Thursday. All right, here's the jet forecast. Close of business today. Um, cut off low, exiting Colorado, and then it's all about the Pacific Northwest and BC until we get, there it is. You can almost see it Wednesday night. You see the little dip in the jet getting ready to cruise through Idaho, Utah, uh, Wyoming. That's gonna be our windy right there. You can see it pass through a quick compression of the pressure gradient. And then we have to look down the road Here's 1028. Look at the trough of low pressure moving in, and that's not it. It opens the door, and there's probably more activity in another storm system behind it through Halloween. All right, looking at the, uh, the forecast radar and satellite, so by 530 this afternoon, 
you can see where the action is. It's exiting Colorado, and a lot of it's up in the north, northern tier, Pacific Northwest, and BC. Here's uh, Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon. There's Wednesday morning. There comes the windy storm, the windy clipper right there. So early Thursday, wind and snow, Idaho, parts of Montana, especially the Tetons, wind rivers. And it, the wind will definitely clip northern Utah and uh, central to northern Colorado, um, but not as much snow for those areas. A lot of the snow is going to stay north. And then that just quickly races out. Then we start to refocus on the actual pattern shift that comes in after 1027. And you can see it. Here it comes. Here comes our storm system. Much more widespread snow. Look at this on 1028 in the afternoon. <laughs> snow from BC all the way down into Colorado. There we are on 1029, 1029, 1030. Another storm system loading up in the Pacific Northwest. So looking really good. All right, snow forecast next 24 hours. So you've got the snow, additional snow in Colorado. You've got some snow up in the parts of BC. Looking further down the road, this is 1023 through 1030. So this accounts for that pattern shift and you can see the numbers, four to 10 in Colorado, a foot or more up in the Tetons, three to six for the Wasatch, that number could certainly go up. Um, looking at four to eight across parts of Idaho, Western Montana, a foot around Big Sky, big numbers for the Pacific Northwest, one to two feet, uh, anywhere in purple's over a foot. Interior BC gets hit pretty good over the high peaks with probably four to eight, four to nine at a lot of those those ski areas. So again, this runs through 1030, but there's another storm system that'll roll in for Halloween and beyond. So the numbers would likely continue to go up with additional accumulation. So we're looking good guys. Um, through the end of October, early November, uh, a lot to talk about in this time period. Thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it and have a great Monday.